Please welcome to the stage, your one and only, Brian Long! <laughs> Richard Ryder! Okay, there's trouble. Bachelorette party, we got... Ric Flair, bachelorette party. <laughs> I just went to a Raptors game recently and the kiss cam is not nearly long enough for me to come. <laughs> I was getting started, they switched the couple, you're like, who are these two? I gotta give them a backstory. <laughs> the whole thing. I don't have a good look for uh, jobs. Uh, like I couldn't be a gynecologist, I look way too untrustworthy. <laughs> Right, like, ladies, if you went in, took your pants off, and I walked in like we doing this, <laughs> all right. <laughs> oh, what's my buddies like to watch? That's a problem for you. <laughs> Let's get started. <laughs> <laughs> Smells like a clean bill of health to me. <laughs> Sorry, that's from the last patient. Uh, okay, you have herpes. <laughs> oh, you don't? Well, you do now. Okay. Uh, Grab my skull ring from your vagina. You guys together? You guys, do you guys think it's weird? That, <laughs> do you guys think it's weird that like during sex she can call you daddy and that's hot, but if she calls you dad, things just got really weird. <laughs> right, girl, like give me the dick, daddy. You're like, all right. She's like, give me the dick, dad. You're like, okay, I gotta <laughs> call you an Uber, I think. <laughs> Daddy's the only acceptable one. She definitely can't call you papa. <laughs> Papa, please, give me that dick, Papa! <laughs> Fucking orphan right now. I grew up in a white family, uh, recommend that. For sure the move. Now, you know what? Family doesn't matter for white people. Like, when I was growing up, my parents got divorced and now they both have new families and I'm not even part of either of them. <laughs> Like, you go visit family, I just visit a family. Like, there's all, there's all these new members, there's a new stepsister, like, who's this guy? I'm like, who's, I was an original member. <laughs> what the fuck are you? It's like a sitcom and they killed off my character, but no one told me. <laughs> like, you guys wanna get some pizza? They're like, he doesn't even know it's a gluten-free house now. <laughs> black family, you're more likely to get beat up, but in a white family, you're way more likely to get molested. <laughs> just statistically, white uncles are doing work on someone in this crowd. <laughs> like in a black family, you get licked. In a white family, you get licked. <laughs> white uncles, man. That's why when I was 10, I actually molested my uncle just to beat him to the punch. One for the nephews. <laughs> Take that, Uncle Fred. <laughs> nephews are on the come up. He was a quadriplegic. <laughs> Not even a blood relative, just my aunt's boyfriend. You gotta let him know. <laughs> now, you know who runs the family in a white household is the dog. It goes parents, kids, dog. Head honcho. When I was growing up, my dog used to put peanut butter on his dick and make me lick it off. <laughs> I know, it wasn't even a sexual frame, it was a power thing. He knows I'm allergic to peanut butter. <laughs> you missed a spot. I'm like, sorry, sir. <laughs> white people are on a bit of a timeout right now, just in general. Right, it gets weird. Like, white people can't even participate if other races are being racist against each other. Like, the other day, my Indian friend was like, this Asian dude crashed into his car, that's hilarious, right? And I'm just like, well, I wouldn't know nothing about that. <laughs> you guys talk amongst yourselves in here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Looks fun. All that racism. White people are like, I want to play racism, and they're like, no, you guys play way too hard. <laughs> Any religious people here? No. They have curfew. I'm not. I haven't read the Bible or the Quran or the Jew Quran. I think Jesus is probably black just because black people are so much cooler at religion. <laughs> like, and white churches are just creeping everyone the fuck out. Black churches are like, hallelujah, and the white ones are like, hallelujah. <laughs> the fuck is this? None of these people are going to 
Heaven. I'm just saying, heaven's all fat black chicks. That's what I'm just saying. Well, at least my heaven. You know what I'm talking about. I think that the Bible, like religion's just like a book club, but they only have one book. I think. <laughs> They're like, what are we reading? They're like the Bible again. <laughs> Book club sucks. I'm gonna join Oprah's book club. I want James Cameron to just buy the Bible franchise and fuck it up. Half the commandments, twice the heaven. And this one, you can covet thy neighbor's wife. Yeah, cover it. You wanna get to heaven or not, kid? I was, uh, I, I was baptized. I don't want to tell you whether my priest molested me because a true gentleman never kisses and tells. <laughs> no, my priest didn't molest me, but he did dip my naked body in water and whisper into my ear, you're so fucking wet right now. <laughs> oh, you're dripping wet. Oh, oh, but, oh, what are we doing? But your parents are watching. I'm like, when? He's like, I'll use that as lube. Oh. I was baptized. <laughs> I've done some stupid white people shit though once. I just, I sponsored a walrus. Uh, <laughs> I thought it'd be cute. I'd be like, that's my walrus. He's chubby, but I love him. But, <laughs> but I didn't realize, I thought it was a one-time pop, but they've been taking money off my credit card for the last two years. I got fucked and I tried to cancel and they guilt tripped me. Like they put me on hold and the hold music was like, 2,000 walruses die every day. <laughs> Only a monster would cancel his description. <laughs> and then the girl picked up and she was like, if you don't want a, you know, a walrus, we could have you sponsor a seal. And I'm like, the animal's not the problem. <laughs> As if I saw a walrus and I'm like, that's what they look like? <laughs> Get me the seal department. <laughs> he was fucking me for two years. And then he was like, okay, what's your walrus's name? And I'm like, Brutus, like he made me say it. <laughs> Actually, Brutus died, we transferred you to Spencer, and I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> if my walrus died, that's the end of our transaction. <laughs> I sponsor Brutus, he sounds like a badass. Spencer sounds like a bitch. <laughs> I picture Brutus in the tank, smoking a cigar, bullying the other walruses. <laughs> I picture Spencer sitting there like, yeah, my water's cold. <laughs> Here's your fish, Spencer. I'm a vegan, I hate Spencer. <laughs> So they, so they let me cancel, but now for two like months, I'm still it's legally its sponsor, so now I'm just a deadbeat sponsor. So I've been calling Spencer up late at night drunk, Spencer, it's your dad. I'm not gonna make your payment this month. Your walrus trainer's a cunt. Being really anti Jews are on the zoos, click. Deadbeat dad shit. I'm dating a girl, she's a Mexican or Chilean, or I'm not sure, I'm not her biographer. I think it's Colombia and the amount of coke that she does. Uh, these girls know what I'm talking about. I'm telling you, Toronto girls are doing a lot of coke. And they won't admit it, I'll be like, I wasn't doing coke. And I'm like, you went to the washroom 45 times. I'd rather you doing coke than just shitting nonstop. <laughs> no, I wasn't doing coke, I'm just punishing the toilet. And the only person that won't admit it, I'll be like, your nose is bleeding. He's like, no, I'm just, I, my nose is bleeding because I'm on my period, then I fingered myself and picked my nose. <laughs> Nothing with the coke. A little period blood getting you guys mad in 2017? This guy's clapping a little too hard for period blood. It's my shit! I'm bathing it! I'll always have sex with my girl on her period, but I always run outside naked with the blood on my dick screaming, I just killed my cat! Enjoy the food. Uh, <laughs> this is how, speaking of shit, this is how crap my friends are. Two days ago, my buddy came to my house and clogged my toilet and wouldn't admit it, and it was just the two of us there. <laughs> He's like, it wasn't me. I'm like, well, I know it wasn't me, because I'm me. <laughs> He's like, maybe you forgot. And I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> like, I took such a big shit that I blacked out. <laughs> just woke up, where am I? this and he goes he did that to me too <laughs> this is me. he's driving around Toronto clogging toilets 
You ever uh, clog the toilet, sir? Never. What? Oh, she goes, yes, he has. Oh, this guy, the confidence. She's like, he took down three Starbucks this week. Just walked away as the pipes explode in the background. <laughs> My dad was a clogger, my grandfather was a clogger. <laughs> Started clogging real young. I actually clogged my mom's pussy on the way out. <laughs> Clog life. <laughs> so I'm dating this girl, she's really skinny because of all the coke. Uh, but in 2017, you're not supposed to be skinny. And <laughs> it's true. And I posted a photo on Instagram and someone was like, this girl's way too skinny. That's not a real girl. And I was like, I thought it was a real girl, but that would explain the dick. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Turns out I've been sucking a dude's dick this whole time. <laughs> Give her one of those days, yuck, yeah, yucks. <laughs> so I broke up with her, my new girlfriend's 900 pounds. I just want to be in the right side of history. <laughs> we all start to fun things. I lie in the bed and she trampolines me into the roof. <laughs> Stand back down comically. Just all sorts of fun shit. <laughs> she is morbidly obese, though. She is a... She has an oxygen tank to breathe, which is a bummer. Uh, during sex, she actually asked me to choke her, though, and I just turned down the oxygen. It's the only way she can come. I actually had a weird thing. I just came back from Vancouver, right? And I had to sit beside the biggest guy on the plane. And okay, I don't want to make fun of a guy for being big, but he a regular person head, so you know it was his own fault. <laughs> So what happened in the middle of the night, this guy wanted to go to the washroom and I was sleeping, right? And I just woke up to him straddling me. And he leans in and he goes, I didn't want to wake you, man. You just made this so sexual. And I'm trying to wiggle out, but now I'm just motorboating. I'm like, oh, 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 oh. And he's like, I can't, I'm like, someone help. And then the steward is like, sir, let him buy it. I'm like, I'm not participating. I'm not playing my rules, do what she had on these titties. Just pop up with a milk mustache. First world problems. One of those people always say that, like, first world problems. I'm like, this is where I live, I'm not gonna have third world problems. If I was on stage right now, like, my hut's leaking. You'd be like, why do you live in a hut? <laughs> It's just unrelated. If I'm motorboating a guy, I can't be like, well, at least we have running water. <laughs> right? It's unrelated. Like, if you're gonna say first row problems, at least say them all. This would be a first row problem. I have a wife and she fucks all my friends and I want to kill her, but I can't because it's not India. And I'm like, first row problems. <laughs> just me sitting there with a bucket full of stones and no one to legally throw them at. <laughs> Like, I don't know if you guys know this, in China there's a building called Foxconn where so many employees committed suicide out the window they put up nets out to catch them. Can you think of a worse way to not die? <laughs> you're having a bad day at work and you're like, that's it, I'm gonna commit suicide, I'm ending this. Then you jump out the window and then pff, nothing but net. <laughs> and then you gotta do the awkward walk of shame back to your cubicle. <laughs> Jim, you try to commit suicide again? That's coming out of your lunch break. <laughs> Unless we have a netting fee. <laughs> Second world problem. <laughs> I had a weird first world problem the other day. So someone texted me a joke and then I wrote back, ha ha ha. And then my phone corrected it to ha ha as if my phone was like, I don't know if we liked it that much. <laughs> Your human brain might have enjoyed it. I think phones are just mad because of all the dick pics. You guys don't know. <laughs> you guys sending dick pics? The three guys, no dick pics? They're old fashioned. They send out male dope Polaroids with their dick. Because a dick pic says, I want to come to your house and have sex with you. A male dope Polaroid says, I'm already in your house. <laughs> Look in the background, that's you sleeping. I'm the guy in the balaclava. I take all my dick pics, flaccid dick, legs behind my head, Oakley sunglasses. <laughs> How I do it. The weirdest dick thing I had was me and my buddy were in a car trying to leave and this homeless guy came up and just started jerking off on our car. Ah, it was very pirate-like, like, like ah! And it was like a bum dick, like it was red. And the, the 
it did look like someone like a dog bit it off and chewed it up and then spit it out. Someone like ran over with an old fashioned lawnmower. And they reattached it, but they did it better. Like it looked sloppy. It looked leaky. That's the best way it's got. It looked like he pees and he stops peeing, but it just keeps going. It doesn't matter. So this guy's jerking off on the car and my buddy goes, run him over. I'm like, we can't just kill him. He's not raping me, he's just sort of raping everybody. And then I look up and I go, fuck, now I made eye contact with him. And I'm like, if he comes right now. And then this fucking guy looks at me and he goes, I can't come, like it was my fault. And I'm gonna run up and be like, well, he's gotta come, you know, we gotta figure this out. He comes. So eventually we're like, let's make a break for it. We run, my friend's shoe kicks off and he goes, grab my shoe. I go, you're on your own, just close your mouth. <laughs> I get around the corner, there's this lady there. I'm like, there's this fucking bum jerking off my car. And she goes, oh, don't worry. That's the guy that can't come. I go, what the fuck? <laughs> Everyone knows. Everyone knows that's just the bum that can't come. <laughs> call the police, they're like, did he come? We don't leave the precinct unless it's a juicy load of bum semen. If he didn't come, we don't come, click. <laughs> I ain't one of the type of girl that wants you getting fights at bars and shit. They'll be like, this guy looked at me weird, get him. And you're like, who the fuck do you think you're on a date with right now? <laughs> Steven Seagal, like the bachelorette party. Like these guys for sure are gonna get their boyfriends into fights one day. You know what I mean? This is what happened. I was at a bar, right? This girl I was with, she pushed a guy and then the guy slapped her and I'm like, now I'm involved, you know what I mean? <laughs> and she looks at me, she's like, why'd you let him do that? I go, I didn't let him. He didn't ask me for permission. Like, Ryan, you mind if I give her one? <laughs> I'm like, get it, get it. <laughs> and she's like, you should take this guy outside. And I'm like, are you out of your mind? This guy just slapped a girl in public. Can you imagine what will do to me in private? <laughs> My face and I'll go, man, you shouldn't hit girls. He goes, what the fuck did you just say? <laughs> Sometimes bitches deserve it. <laughs> Talk to her, get her to apologize to you. <laughs> you don't deserve this. Like, I, I went to the gym recently and I got stuck under the bar and had to yell for help. <laughs> I'm like, help! No one helped. I go, help! I just hear one kid go, <laughs> that's it. <laughs> The biggest guy in the gym came over, but instead of helping, he just yelled encouraging shit like, come on, you got this! No pain, no gain! Just do one more! And I'm like, I haven't done one total. That would be the only one. Gym's also the first place I found out my dad's a psychopath. I watched my dad get dressed and he put his pants on last. Shoes, socks, shirt, dick out like a psychopath. <laughs> You want to get food? I'm like, your dick's out. <laughs> you dressed like a human being. I remember my mom was like, listen, me, your dad are getting divorced. And I was like, yeah, I know the pants thing. That makes sense. <laughs> my mom's worse though. Like I do a TV show, which means kids will call me gay on the internet sometimes. <laughs> That's one of them. Uh, but lately my mom's gotten the habit of defending me to people, which is super fucked up. <laughs> This kid was like, this TV show's a piece of shit. My mom goes, maybe you should watch all the episodes before you make your decision. And then, this kid goes, what are you, his mom? And I'm like, don't answer that. And she does, she goes, yes, I am his mom. And I have two other kids also, which isn't even relevant. Just bragging, I guess. And this kid goes, well, your son's gay. And she goes, no, he's not, but my other son is. There's nothing wrong with that, which is true. How do you argue that fucking 10 year old on the internet? And this kid goes, well, at least Ryan's mom's a MILF. And she goes, thank you. Like, she took the compliment. <laughs> She's looking okay, though. Huge tits, the whole package. Uh, don't get ideas. My stepdad, Brian, has been crushing that pussy. <laughs> I come home, my mom's walking funny. Brian's like, that's my pussy. I'm like, listen, I don't want any trouble. He says to stay away from the pussy. And I'm like, for the record, I was there first. <laughs> Ryan, he says, call me dad. He's very aggressive, my stepdad makes me call him dad. Uh, he even makes my dad call him dad. <laughs> my brother is gay though, 
more sorry he was gay, we killed him for the Lord. <laughs> no, he is gay, I know, because I had sex with him. What a fag, okay. Uh, my family hates when I do comedy. You know, you don't see too many homophobic people, but recently, like, I was in Branford and I was like, my brother's gay, and this lady in the back goes, oh, gross. And then I looked and she had no teeth. <laughs> Girl said, gross with no teeth? I like to think it's because the only dentist in Branford's like, super gay. I ain't let no homo touch my teeth, no way. <laughs> I like to think it's related, like a bunch of gay dudes beat her teeth out with dildos. <laughs> teeth for gay stuff. <laughs> it's like, who are you? And they're like, we're the tooth fairies. <laughs> Gabriel know how to party though. Like I went to this bar, uh, Cruise and Tango with my brother and there's a glory hole in the stall. Are you guys wooing for the glory hole? <laughs> I, is, I, is there even a girl glory hole? How the fuck would that work? Like two just leg holes. <laughs> and then a middle vagina hole, and they'd have to like sidle up. <laughs> well, spoiler alert for the dude glory hole, it's a guy sucking your dick every time. <laughs> it's not a Kardashian at the other side of that glory hole. <laughs> I'd be afraid to stick my dick through a glory hole. Imagine you stuck it through and someone just put like a beehive on it. <laughs> Anything can happen, you stick your dick through, it's just like an underage girl and a cop waiting to arrest you. <laughs> puts the handcuffs on your dick and then a beehive and he's like, that's a sting operation. <laughs> Comedy. You know why I love gay people? Because they're the only minority group that made their negative stereotype a whole parade. Like if you think gays, it's like being sassy and dicks, that's the whole parade. There's no women's march where they're in aprons like baking pies and trying irrationally in the workplace. <laughs> come up and men are on the come down. I think we could all agree on that. Yeah, right? But there's some things women are never gonna be able to beat men at, and I'm sorry, but women are never gonna beat men at kidnappings and murders. We're the returning champions. <laughs> men have kidnapped, we're the John Cena's of kidnappings and murders. I'm so, you, and school shootings, you never turn on the TV and it's like, 13 year old Stacy just shot up her high school. <laughs> like, look at women. <laughs> Chloroforming people in a park, that's guys every time. You don't hear about the maxi pad bandit. Chloroforming guys with their maxi pad. No chloroform, just the normal smell. Dragging him back to her basement, keeping him in a cage for five years. He's like, I'm hungry, you can have pussy again. Five years later, he comes out in a blanket to Sarah McLaughlin playing. I will remember you. I was like, I did that for feminism. The only thing girls have a monopoly on is drowning their own kids. Returning <laughs> champions, you guys got that one a lot. It is a weird time, like it's a hot to be a victim right now. Uh, you ever see people out like victim each other on the internet? Like the other day someone goes, I think I would know because I'm gay. And this other person goes, I know a little better because I'm trans. I just want someone else to be like, well, I'm First Nations disabled trans. <laughs> internet explodes. <laughs> we found our victim of the year. <laughs> the ultimate in oppression. <laughs> and so like, hey, I, I do TV stuff and I was pitching this uh, like show about guys and bands at this network. And then guy in the network's like, is there any way we're trying to do stuff with refugees because refugees are hot right now? And I was like, what? <laughs> And he goes, can we put refugees in this show? And I'm like, I'm not adding a bunch of refugees to this band. What are you talking about? I came to this country to rock! Like, <laughs> their new band, we're the Refugees. <laughs> our new hit song, Staying Alive. <laughs> I am actually transitioning. Uh, someone's like, which way? Okay. Uh, <laughs> No, it's a new thing girls bring me home. They're like, where's your dick? I'm like, check your pocket. I'm a transgician. It's a new thing. <laughs> you guys look at there in 2018. 
No, but I turned 31, and I get all these things happen. Like, I said voice surgery, right? And I went to the doctor, and he's like, this is what you need to do for your voice. He's like, I'm 31. He goes, what you need to do is you need to walk more upright and talk at a lower register. Like, walk like this and talk like this. And I'm like, dude, I'm 31. I'm going to start walking and talking differently. Are you out of your mind? Just show my buddy's house. Like, where are we going tonight? You guys want to go to the bar? I'm like, we're going. You can't come. You're out of the crew. <laughs> I have a buddy who just got an earring at 31 and we have not let him hear the end of it. <laughs> Cause you know he had to go to the mall and go to Claire's. <laughs> Sit next to a six year old girl. <laughs> what are you getting? I'm getting a sapphire. <laughs> Her dad's like, can you not talk to my daughter please? <laughs> also this doctor goes, it's better for your voice if you sleep sitting up. And I was like, also better for people thinking you're a fucking psychopath. <laughs> you look at me and I'm just like, I've been expecting you. <laughs> Talking about doctors are fucked. I had to get tested at the Queen Inspiratum Medical Center and they lost my pee sample. And the girl called me, she's like, We lost your sample. I go, What? She goes, Don't worry, it happens all the time. I go, All the time? What the fuck is happening? This is the clumsiest guy transporting the pee. Just comes back drenched. Well, it happened again. Mommy <laughs> well, we told you to stop wearing the rollerblades. <laughs> I've been coming quick lately. Uh, I'm on a bad run. You know, you know when you're 16 and you're like, dick's just like a shaking up pop can in the world's a pack of Mentos? <laughs> Ladies, do you know when you're 16 and your dick's like that? <laughs> I'm very Southern and apologetic. I was like, why'd you come so quick? And I'm like, I do apologize. You are just too beautiful. <laughs> it's like, can you get hard and fuck again? Ooh, I do not want to overdose on the beauty. <laughs> Mother Tommy Clutton, is a cardinal sin. I must be sleeping now. Your Uber awaits you. <laughs> My buddy's a counterfeit Viagra dealer. Uh, <laughs> and then I started doing it and talking about it on stage and now I'm a counterfeit Viagra dealer. <laughs> Anyone here ever do Viagra? You ever do Viagra? She'll tell, she's gonna tell me. Like, I'm sorry, but she's gonna tell me. How long you've been together? What's your answer? You didn't seem to like that answer. 26. 26 years, and you said 20 years. Which six years did you forget? My guess is the six years that he wasn't on Viagra. <laughs> All you do is ask for it. You go to the doctor, I'm like, I need Viagra. He just has to take your word. There's no procedure. He starts jerking you off. Like, this guy doesn't need Viagra. This guy doesn't rock. He did it. Second doctor is a medical procedure called blowing you. Like, oh, this guy. You kidding me? You jerked me off. You blew me. Am I getting this Viagra? And they're like, oh, we don't work here. That's weird. I sold my buddy some and he calls me at like, Four in the morning, he's like, dude, my dick's been hard for three hours, what do I do? And I'm like, not call me. <laughs> like, I'm gonna go over and jerk him off, like, come on, we'll get through this, man. You know, just don't give me a bad Yelp review. I don't <laughs> Whatever you do, that's the last thing. What'd you say? <laughs> she loves my laugh? Did you guys choreograph this beforehand? I'll go, I love your laugh, and then I'll yell his laugh, and then they'll carry us out of there. She's gonna be posting on Facebook, crushed it at Yuck Yucks last night. They were chanting my name, my laugh joke crushed. Are you just commenting on other people's laughs? I love your laugh, that's even weirder. If I do get married, I want my wife to be Muslim just because there's a lot of good shit in there about obeying your husband. And she'll be like, I don't want to do the dishes. I'm like, Allah, she's not doing it. Allah, we had a deal. Talk to her, put your, put your burka apron on, thank you. I worship gay Allah. He's like normal Allah, but really gay. Galah, I call him Galah. Allah's a little bit gay. He's like, eh, don't draw me, I look fat. <laughs> I 
I'm not religious. The only thing I know about religions is every single one hates gays and loves hats across the board. <laughs> no to gay people, yes to hats. Like whatever God you have, when you die, he's gonna be straight as fuck with a huge hat, fingering a girl, Kid Rock, basically. <laughs> my name is God! <laughs> it's my God, I don't wanna put a face to your God. They all have hats though. It's like the Sikhs have a hat, and the Jews have a hat, and the Asians wear the Jew hat, but over their mouth. <laughs> Asian Jewish, controlling the airflow, controlling the banks. <laughs> and then the Muslims have a hat and the girls have a less cool hat. Uh, I've never worn a burqa personally, but once I did go tanning naked with just the goggles and I assume it feels the exact opposite of that. <laughs> Over that feels the polar opposite. I wouldn't want to date a girl if her ex-boyfriend before me was like an extremist Muslim dude, just because they're like way better at eating out girls. Just, oh! I want a Muslim woman with a lady in the sheet and a freak in the sheets. No to gays though. You know what? I hope God's just gay as fuck. Like you die and he shows up to heaven and he's like, welcome to heaven! Did not see that coming. I thought you hated gay people. I just want to be the only one. Didn't want any gay stealing my thunder. Zeus, I said thunder. Zeus is like, sorry, sir. <laughs> Thank you. In Saudi Arabia, it's basically illegal to be gay, but they still have lashings in the town square, which is about the gayest thing I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> then you got God sucking a dick and they made you get spanked by another guy. <laughs> I'll be wearing leather like, keep him coming, big boy. <laughs> oh, I've been bad, I've been real bad. <laughs> get on his gay stuff with more gay stuff. <laughs> Not doing drugs and they make you join a bongathon. I'll never do it again. If I was a gay dude, I showed up to Saudi Arabia and they're spanking people, I'd be like, it's a fucking free for all. Saudi Arabia's a gay nightclub. Just like spank, 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 spank. Don't be gay, it's illegal. <laughs> I'll lose your daddy. <laughs> 